As a buy low customer yourself, what do you think great service is? A clear aisle? A trolley that works? Open checkouts? What about a warm greeting, eye contact and a simple smile? Every customer is different, so why not appeal to them all? Let's do the things they want us to do. Let's do the things you want us to do when you shop at Bilo. It's all part of the service. Let's put the customer first. most to customers will probably be quick service, um, friendly advice, help and always a smile. They'll always just be happy, be chirpy and they love it. To get through the checkout quickly, to be greeted with a smile, definitely. And I think um, not to be distracted by anything else, just to be focused on the customer. Put them through the registers quickly, smiling and talking to them. To be polite. Um, look at them while you speak to them and smile at all times. Keep that grin on your face the whole time. You, you, you can't be robotic about it, you know, they're, they're people as well so you got to be friendly with them, you know, talk to them, get personal with them if, if need be and um, yeah, you, you're providing a service but you know, they're also human beings. Oh, they probably think if you look better, you're probably doing your job rather than some boy looking scrappy and untidy, probably thinking the stuff he's putting out looks the same. So, customers would like a good, a, a smile, a thank you, and have a nice and uh, have a nice day. Um, good eye contact. One couple they come in every week, and um, and they wait for me specifically to show them where to go. And the, the husband said to me one day, he said, "Do you know what we call you? We call you the walking encyclopedia. It's because I'm very familiar with the shop and I'm able." they want so to me that's a real compliment yeah, they've got to be made to feel welcome like they're important to us and we really want their custom so the initial thing I think is just to make contact with them make them feel comfortable attend to anything any problems especially if there's people looking around and not sure of where things are it's amazing if you take a bit of initiative go up and try to help them how how grateful they are I think we should be served by staff who are confident in their work, who take pride in their appearance, pride in their work and who have been well trained. Customers might ask, oh, can I have half a watermelon cut because they want half instead of a whole or just have you got any more of this out the back and just grab it for them. You know, say where it is and if they need it, you know, walk them to the aisle um, and show them the product. Rudeness and they like you to treat them like they're the only ones there. So it's like a one-on-one -on -one thing all the time. Customers dislike dirty stores. They dislike um, empty shelves where the stock's not there. When we run out of weekly specials, especially if they advertise ones, they dislike that immensely. I think they just dislike people who pretend they're not there. You know, put your head down and pretend they're not there. That's easy to do, but a no-no. <laughs> Waiting is one of the things that customers get really as that, that comes back down to customer service again. Probably when they can't find something that they've been looking for and they've been to a couple of shops, but always we always supply rain checks, so it's sort of a really good thing to have. The kind of service we're talking about takes no extra time to provide. It takes just as long to frown as to smile. In fact, frowning uses more muscles. Putting the customer first gives them a great reason to put us first over our competitors. 
great service creates loyal customers just as much as low prices and convenient store locations. Let's see if this checkout operator knows the drill. Hi, sorry about the delay. How are you today? Service matters. What you do and say every time you're with a customer matters. You matter. Be a positive part of what should be a positive experience for every one of our customers. Isn't that what you expect when you're one of them?